I've got a problem. And I think 3D printing can help me solve it. So why am I on the floor? Let me show you. So this is the problem. The feet of the dining room chairs have supposed to have an insert, as you can see there, that protects them, stops them from scratching the floor. And unfortunately, they are worn away. And you can see that one is completely gone. So my plan is to print replacement parts and fit them to the chairs. Iteration one. So this is planted in uh, CPE filamentum, CPE black hole, and uh, it's just a little cup. And I thought that was going to be the answer. Um, having felt it, it's a bit hard. I was talking to um, Layla over at Filamentum, and she suggested that I go with some flex fill, which is what these are. I don't know whether I can get that to the camera, but you can see flex fill. Um, just because it would be a little bit easier on the floor, and CP is still might still be a bit scratchy. So this was the um, the final material choice, but then I went to fit the the part, and removing the old part um, from the the chair leg, I noticed that it, it was a slightly different profile, and that possibly is so that it it fits a little better. So iteration three, and. Um, what I've come up with is this, I don't know if you can again, if we can just get that in the light, you can see there that it's got a centre column, and that centre column fits into um, the column on the chair leg. Hopefully the extra column in the middle gives a little bit more purchase for the application of good old fashioned super glue, uh, just simple super glue, and hopefully that little well if you like might, uh, might make things a little bit better. So that's my plan is to is to put it on there. So let's let's just try a test fit first. Again, okay, apologies for the shaky hands here, but here's the part fitted on, and that seems quite a good fit. That's yeah, I don't think that's gonna come off once it's super glued, so that should be quite good. So that's all four in place, and as you can see, they seem to do the trick. They don't scratch the floor. Not very squeaky. Um, we'll just wait and see how the super glue holds it, whether we need to change the, some different um, adhesive. But for the moment, that looks as if it's all right. It just needs uh, possibly some weight put in on it while it, uh, while it sets. I don't know how I'm gonna manage that. Okay, so it turns out the, uh, the solution to putting weight on it was uh, easier than I thought. I sat on my backside. So I had a problem. I had 3D printers available to me. I've got a modicum of design skills. I quickly drew it up. It's a relatively easy and simple design. So I drew that up, tried it out, iterated on the material, then actually tried fitting the thing, found that maybe it wasn't uh, quite the right design. So iterated on the design. So the parts themselves were printed in Filamentum Flexfill 98A, which is the harder of the two flexible materials that uh, Filamentum uh, produce. And uh, they seem, um, they seem to do the job, so we will see how we get on with that, and uh, I'll, I'll monitor that over time. Obviously I've got another four chairs to, uh, to fit, so I, I better go and get, the, get those printing. I believe that I used 50% infill, and they are printed on the Prusa i3 Mark IIs. So, um, which is kind of one of those machines that's actually well known as being uh, fairly good at printing flex. I did slow things down. I did um, remove retraction completely, which means there's a bit of stringing. Obviously, as these are on the floor, nobody's really going to see them. It's it's not uh, much of a big issue. So I printed more uh, more than one at once. If I'd have been trying to do it so that it looked nice, as I say, I prefer to to have no retraction on at all. So I would have probably printed one at a time. Um, would take a little bit um, longer back and forth to the printer obviously to do that so uh, as I say I'm uh, happy now I can go and print the, the rest of the table legs and hopefully uh, we've got a good solution so if you've made it this far thanks a lot for watching I uh, really do appreciate that and if you like the content then please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and I would be really uh, really happy if you did so
I'll see you next time.